started because I was uh, asked to come and be a member of the Motherless Babies Board, an orphanage for, for children in Lagos State. And then I realized also that the children in a situation like that, there was, there was nobody who was standing up for them. They were sort of lost through the work with Evan and Lua. Quite a few children have gone to better homes. Along the way we found that there were children who could not be adopted. We decided to get together us who looked after these children and we got premises, rented premises in Ichibode. And that's where we have a home for them. A Roboto house is located on a very spacious parcel of land, about one acre. There is an inscription on the wall, a Roboto house for special children. Uh, we run between 19 and 25 children most times. Children between the ages of uh, three, three plus and uh, 29. We need so many things to make it easy to take care of these children like uh, teaching aids, special toys, special trainers, walking trainers, to have a swimming pool. We have plastic ones, but sometimes they leak. So anything that can help them train their muscles, train their hands and legs will be welcome. We also have children that are less privileged, but they don't have any special needs. It's only that they don't have their parents. They stay with these special needs children too in the home. So we are training them together, envisaging a future with, a, with hope for them so that they can meet up with other children in society. We have some finalists. Some of them will come out, go to the university, be trained as engineers, um, social workers, different profession. My name is Aosweti Victoria and I'm 17 years old. I've lived in Erebodo House for six years now. Living at Erebodo House, it's been a big opportunity for me to get exposed to so many things and to cope with people from different ethnics. So it's been really wonderful and interesting, you know, quite funny at times. Living with both able and disabled children, you can imagine how it is at times when you're moody and at times they frustrate you, at times you feel very, very happy and staying with them, they are very creative. And I, I feel like staying in the same house with a, a, a very big, big family, and a very big compound with the matron, the staffs, the children, and spend holidays, so a very full house, and it's very, very interesting. At the moment, we plan to build an ultra-modern child care center in the Robodu house, and hopefully, we will get on with this centre very soon. Last summer, I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. And uh, for me, it was a gruelling challenge because I'm not the fittest of people. But uh, it was an extremely worthwhile experience. I managed to raise a very large amount of money that we're putting forward towards the uh, uh, creation of a new home for these children. This um, plot of land is going to house a Robodo home for special needs children. We are planning to have it completed in the next few months. Once you start working with the children and seeing how some children suffer unnecessarily, it's not something you forget. You cannot just walk past and say, Thank you.